Illegal refinery usually takes place in forests and bushes. It involves the stealing of crude from pipelines of international oil companies, filling in a tank and boiling to very high temperatures. These process sometimes result in explosion, claiming lives and destroying properties as well as the environment, like it happened in Imo State. Oftentimes, the government has talked about clamping down on illegal refineries to prevent the disaster inherent in their operations. The question is, is it possible to clamp down on illegal refineries? Can they be converted to legal refineries? I'm blessing the Ichi. This is Report on ITV. First, the illegal refineries, uh, it's criminal in nature. It's illegal and it's criminal and it tend to those that indulge in these activities they are economic saboteurs that sabotualize the effort of the government and the economy of the of the of the nigeria government we we condemn it in total the recent recent uh, incident it's one of many that occur on daily basis because as a petrochemical technologist Crude oil and all its byproduct is highly inflammable. It can ignite fire at any time. So those who indulge in these illegal activities, little knowledge do they know about it? What effort are they putting in place to ensure that they can contain this uh, uh, fire outbreak? You see the disaster that it caused, losing over a hundred or about 150 lives at a spot so we condemn it government should come up with a blueprint to see how these activities can be mitigated or rather regulated at the time government came up with this uh, uh, modular refinery refineries we intend to give license to individual persons to operate these uh, um, mini refineries but at a time they could not also agree in, uh, with terms, uh, in terms with them. So we are advising that the government should uh, put in place mechanisms to check media activities because there is no way it can be stopped finally. Because those that are involved uh, in these activities are not just ordinary persons like us. Those in government, the government agencies, security agencies are involved and aid them in carrying out these activities. So we encourage government to come up with a strategy of legalizing these refineries because government have not been able to come up on their own to say okay we are building a, a, a refinery or to make our own existing refinery functional as environmentalists the destruction apart from the debt the environment that is destroyed is a cause of concern to us as environmentalists you know apart from the fact that no life is supposed to be lost unnecessarily and those lives that are lost you know reports are saying about a hundred but I witness and people from there that we've interacted with says it's over 200 people that died some families lost up over 50 members of their families that they know. We've always advocated that there is a way out. These people that have this ingenious creative mentality to develop how to refine crude. You remember there was a time that a report came from a UK firm that said that the Petroleum resources that, you know, are refined through this so-called illegal means was better than the one that is, you know, refined, you know, by our refineries and, you know, distributed. So, which means government needs to look inward, bring these people together, create a cooperative for them, and next, they will be identified they will be known, they will be licensed. We are talking of modular refineries or modular refining. You know, if this group of persons are brought together, they will be trained and then they will 
reorganize themselves, they will be known. And the key thing where all these explosions happen is the source of the crude that they are taking. Okay? And then the methodology of their processing it. So, if they are giving licenses, they are giving acreages, you know, they are giving quotas, everybody, government knows how much crude is given to them and they refine it, you know, and they are censored to do quality refining. It becomes cheaper within the communities where it is done. It becomes accessible and job creation is enhanced. And then the incidence of illegality is reduced and they pay taxes to the coffers of the government. New saga, it's alarming. And they're trying to trace the exigencies of illegal finality and the death that happened occurred in the most state. A country where there's no employment, what will lead? What will cost? It will cost illegality. The opposite of illegality is legality. In the 2017, 14 February precisely, when the acting president was CJ Badger, had in attic capacity for two months. He took a talk to the Niger doctor and he said the government is going to support the illegal infallary, those boys in the creeks that they were producing the illegal infallary and people are personalizing them for them, for them to be able to produce the fuel that can be used in the automobile industry. They're going to engage them and give them support. And if this one happen, there will be enough fuel supplies in the country. That's what he said in 2017. What happened? They dropped their agenda and their ideologies. The federal government should be held responsible. A country where there's joblessness in the country, for you to have an illegal infinity, you must be a student of petroleum engineering. You have technical know-how. So they are not just a, an illiterate. So the government should support them. So can you can't clap on them? It's not possible. This is a booming business. If you watch the, 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 the television uh, report, you can see over, over, 20, over 200 motors were burnt. We are patronizing them. It's not illegal any longer because why? They produce a very good machine, a very, very good fuel. And in our, in our country, Nigeria, many people don't produce for a year. So why can't the country call these people why they creeks and uh, give them luxury for them to, to produce for it? You can't crap on them. Invite those people. They are intellectual. Most of them are PhD holders. For you to be able to build a model, it's a, like modular infinity inside the creek. Why do they call it illegality? Because we don't give license. Now the, 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 the infinity they just they call modular. Are they the license state? Now we are buying for it for 165, 190. When we have boys in the creek, why intellectual? They finish, they finish university, they were able to produce a machine who can give us, who can produce for it. You call it illegal infallary. Please, 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 please. Let the government take responsibility. They will have more illegality until the government do it right. If not, when they just refuse to hurt very well, the unjust will take up how many city. Well, let us first condemn any illegality, you know, because. Uh, uh, the consequences of that are usually very, very fatal and very unacceptable in the society. But the question, like you ask, yes, uh, the managers of illegal refinery, in my opinion, uh, will not be separated from the fact that you operate a state that has failed or a failing state, as where every other person now become uh, that highly disgruntled, you know, in such a manner that we are given to believing that the state has not been able to provide for each citizen what is actually required for their life to excel in the society they belong. So this, I think, would have been responsible for why people have resorted to self-help. Because the creation of this legal refinery is a matter of self-help. People want to make it possible for make it possible to live. And if that be you cannot therefore begin to think of removing them entirely. Especially when you look at the current population of such persons participating in the act. And today, the fuel itself had not proved anything you know, good for the poor person in the society. You cannot even generate your put for your generator and sleep throughout the night. And so, if there are other means by which you can achieve this, you know, Ne not necessarily for the government domain, then of course, why not? So I do think it's not going to be an easy task for government to entirely clamp down on the, on the whole of them operating the system as, as a moment. But rather, government should think of what to do, either to provide what it means 
in their responsibility to satisfy the people of this country or allow the legal refineries to continue or legalize them. To clamp down illegal refineries may be difficult, if not impossible. According to some experts who have spoken, it will be better to convert them to illegal refineries as this will naturally phase out illegal refining of crude. I'm blessing the